Hi, welcome back to the basic timber and steel design. We are now will proceed to lesson 3, cross section classification. We had a look at plastic and elastic properties of the beam. Now what determines whether we have to consider a beam to be plastic or elastic is its classification and today we will be looking at the classification of steel section. Learning outcomes for this lesson is to describe the classification of cross sections and explain how this controls the application of the methods of analysis given in Eurocode 3. When designing a structure and its components, the designer must decide on an appropriate method of analysis of the structure. This choice will affect the analysis of the structure which is aimed at the determination of the stress resultants and will affect the calculation of the cross-section resistance. A cross-section is composed of different plate elements considered as an assemblage of individual parts, such as web and flange. As these parts are plate elements and are relatively thin, they may buckle locally when subjected to compression. The classification of a specific cross-section depends on the width to thickness ratio. Classification of a cross section depends upon the proportions of each of its compression elements. The highest class number should be quoted for a particular section. Eurocode introduces four classes of cross section which are defined as class 1 cross sections are those which have compression elements that are sufficiently stocky. Class 2 cross sections are those which can attain the design value of the plastic moment. Class 3 cross sections are those in which the material yield strength is attainable in the extreme compression and class 4 cross sections are those which contain elements that are so slender that local buckling is likely to occur. The differences in behavior of these four classes may be seen in the figure which illustrates the moment rotation behavior of the cross section. They are Class 1 is plastic cross sections Class 2 is compact cross sections. Class 3 is semi compact cross sections and Class 4 is slender cross sections. Classification process follows five basic steps. First, calculate the slenderness ratio. Number 2, calculate the parameter epsilon. Number 3, compare the value of slenderness ratio and epsilon. Number 4, Determine the class of the element and finally. Number 5, classify the section according to the least favorable classification. A cross section is composed of different plate elements, such as web and flanges. Most of these elements, if in compression, can be separated into two categories. They are, internal or stiffened elements and outstand or unstiffened elements. The most important limiting proportions of the elements of a cross section width to thickness ratio, which enable the appropriate classifications to be made, are specified in Eurocode 3. Eurocode 3 gives the limiting proportions for compression elements of class 1 to 3. The limiting values of the width to thickness ratio of the plate elements of sections apply to members in steel of a specific yield strength. Table shows the limiting width to thickness ratio for outstand flange. The various compression elements in a cross section, such as a web or a flange, can, in general, be in different classes and a cross section is normally classified by quoting the least favorable so called the highest class of its compression elements. When any of the compression elements of a cross section fail to satisfy the limits given in Table 5.2 Eurocode for Class 3, the section is classified as slender and local buckling shall be taken into account in the design. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome.